Hi Five Juice Backers, Aaron again from uh, High Supply. Um, after the last video, um, Sod's Law, the stuff turned up the same day um, that we were waiting for to do the next video. So we're doing it as a separate one to save recording another, the, the, the other one again. But um, I also realised that I forgot to mention a couple of features of the case. Um, so we're going to mention those now and just go over how the uh, games console part works. So yeah, let's uh, get cracking. So as you can see, um, got some straps attached to the case now um if you can see here there's actually holes in the case i did point them out in the last video but i didn't actually explain what they were for um so as you can see um you can attach a strap in one of two ways you've got the kind of more traditional like you know nikon like dslr kind of camera strap type thing um they're the more comfortable strap um or you can kind of do the single strap lanyard type thing um which also you, you can get the kind of wrist strap ones where it just is, you know, kind of like that long and just goes over your wrist and you can just hold it on your wrist like that. And then obviously this one is the more like lanyardy type with the kind of connector there where you can actually unclip it. Um, which is, again, quite cool, especially if you want to use it as a camera and as the game console or the portable pocket because you can then obviously like unclip it and have it, like, you know, on its side. Or you can obviously have it um, on the lanyard and you can just change from one to the other really easily. So... You can see, just straight around on it, use it as a camera, you know, um, and then you can just go, right, okay, I've arrived somewhere, want to use it as a lock computer, and obviously got to get the uh, um, mount out, but you've got that, so really neat, and then obviously with this one, just more of a strap, that's more permanent, I guess, because, I mean, you, I guess you can probably get ones of these with clips here and here, but um, we haven't found one of those so but with this one obviously you can do that clip and we will be stocking a range of different straps for this case as well just as accessories um you know just to make the pie more useful as with pretty much everything we do um that's kind of what we're going for so um yeah as you can see um that's that's really that um so now what i want to show you you can see the ps3 controller this is just the wireless um bluetooth ps3 controller here um so that will work straight with the pi's bluetooth so you will obviously need to use a pi 3 or above which has got the bluetooth on board um but as long as you're using that then it will work then it will work perfectly obviously you could use the pi zero but it won't fit so well in the case so um the pi zero w that is obviously um this here um is the clip which allows you to connect the two together so this is pretty simple it just fits around there you, i mean it's got the spaces for the buttons put that in there and then just clip that in got to use a little bit of force to get that clip through um so there you go that's on there now you've got adjustable here so you can change the angle i've set it at a pretty decent angle just for the purposes of this but it is really easy you just unscrew both sides move it to where you want and then re-screw this is um spring loaded so all you have to do is get the pie in, in the maker kit case or any case you know but obviously this has got the battery built in lift that up place it there and there you go that's your portable games console on one unit you can obviously change the um angle to suit you um you know you've got access to all the controls not restricted in any way um and you know it is obviously a bit top heavy but it's not too heavy i mean the components in there i mean um Oh, no, I'll tell you what, we've got a scale here because we're on the shipping desk, so I'll give you an idea of how much that weighs in total. Just, um, just see how that's always got the strap on, but I'll just crack that on there. So 200, 210 grams, so, you know, relatively heavy, but not, not like ridiculously heavy. It's not going to um, hurt your wrists, and it, it's certainly capable of holding the weight on both of the um, devices. So, yeah, um, oh, that's, uh, yeah, that's in there perfectly now. Yeah, so, you know, you've got that um that's fine like that and then you've also um you can just obviously then as i said to you before you can crack out the stand crack that into there stick that on the side and then well, you can even remove that if you want and then there you go you've got the games console in a you know less heavy manner there as well um and then when you want to go home crack that all back on oops Missed the clip there. There we go. Crack the lanyard back on. Crack that back in there. There you go. Home time. You know, so it's, uh, again, as, as we said, it's pretty well designed. 
the one feature on this case that is supposed to be in there, but on this sample wasn't, I think it must have been forgotten, is the tripod mount. So there is also supposed to be a tripod mount on there to enable you to put it on tripods. But also the key thing with the tripod mount that we were keen on is the fact that it allows you to use this case with aftermarket um, GoPro mount style kits. Um, whether that's the official GoPro ones or just the kind of like ones you can get off Amazon, the 80 piece kits that come with loads of different attachments. Um, so that will be on the final case. That's not on this one. When we get that, we'll show you a bit more. And again, we probably are going to stock some of those GoPro style mounts um, to allow you to just use this in as versatile a way as possible. So yeah, that, that's really it for all of that stuff. But hopefully, again, as I said in the last video, hopefully you'll really like it. We will bring all of this stuff to the Raspberry Fields event um, at the weekend. And yeah, if you want to come have a play, come and see us there. Thanks very much.